Hey guys, so I have another first impressions video for you. I had a lot of positive feedback on the last one that I did, so it seemed like you guys liked these kind of videos, and I just figured um, I would film one for the products that I just bought today. I am in love already, so I guess we can kind of call this a review because it's not really a product that I need to like use like a lot to figure out if I like it or not. And they are the new Color Burst Lip Butters. Now, when I had first, oh, by Revlon. By Revlon. When I had first heard about Revlon releasing lip butters, I totally imagined them being like in a pot. I had no idea they were going to come in like a lipstick tube. And just to compare, they are the exact size of a lipstick tube. I found these at Rite Aid. They were on a separate display. And they had what seemed like 10 or 15 colors. Um, I picked up three of them. I'm going to put, put the... Bleh. I'm not drunk. I just fumbled my words. I wasn't just downing wine. <laughs> oh, if I act a little crazy, that's just me, believe it or not. I, of course, had to get Red Velvet. That just goes without saying. Um, and it's just the names are pertaining to the color, not the scent or anything like that. Um, I have swatches, so I'm going to show you them all. So I got Red Velvet. The thing that I like about it, number one is packaging. Packaging, you guys know, is key for me with anything. It's in like a sheer tube, and the color of the tube matches the color of the lip butter. And what's nice is you can actually see the um, lip colors. For some reason, though, this was like the only red velvet color in the entire display. And I was kind of disappointed because I wanted to get two. I wanted to get one for um, a friend of mine. And this was the only red velvet color that they had. So I don't know if that was just like... At my Rite Aid, the stock that they got, or if it's just like a coveted lip butter that they only had one. It just seemed weird to me because there was at least two of every color, every other color that I saw. This was the only red velvet. So I got red velvet, candy apple, which is a lighter packaging, but again, sheer. These reminded me so much of the Dior Glow, just the packaging alone. Um, aside from like the bottoms, this is the Dior and this is the Revlon. They're like that sleek silver tube, and they're flush with the packaging, and they just twist up. So I love the packaging. For me, packaging gets an A+. Um, so that is Candy Apple. Of course, had to get a pink one, and I'm not even going to lie to you. I only bought this solely based on the name, which is Cupcake, because I love cupcakes. So... Here are the colors. I'm going to show you the colors and I'm going to show you the swatches. And while I'm doing this, I want to tell you, I have on Candy Apple right now. I am in love with this product, okay? It's almost like you get the best of three worlds. Now, you guys know lately, if you follow me on Twitter, and I might have mentioned it in videos, I'm kind of getting over lip gloss in general. Like, there's a few brands that I still do enjoy their product, but just in general, like... Um, I just feel like lip, lip gloss has been very high maintenance for me lately. I don't like, I mean, it's been very windy. I don't like my hair gets stuck in it. I don't like when I'm talking and there's like pieces stuck between. It's just gross. So I've been really loving like the chubby sticks, like the ones from Tarte. And now these, which is like a lipstick because they give you amazing color payoff. A lip moisturizer because they feel so good. Like you would never know you were wearing a lipstick by how they just feel on your lips. And they all have a glossy sheen to them. Now, some are matte and some do have sparkle. I was trying to see through the tops of them. There was a couple that I picked up, like, um, one was something frosting, strawberry frosting or something, or iced frosting, and it looked like a nude, like a really pretty nude, but it was full of sparkle, and I just, that's the other thing, like, I just don't want, like, sparkles and glitters in my lipsticks. I just, I feel like it's just kind of like a, a younger girl thing. Like, I just, I just feel like a matte, creamy... Lip color on my lips just looks more adult-like, I guess. So, without further ado, I just got <laughs> mixed them. Here are the colors. So, this is Red Velvet, Candy Apple, and Cupcake. And I have to say that um, Candy Apple and Cupcake, the color is more true, the color swatch, than Red Velvet. When I first saw Red Velvet, I almost anticipated not getting it because I thought, ooh, it's like really dark and vampy, but it doesn't come out that way at all. And also, when I saw Candy Apple, I thought, Viva Glam Cindy dupe alert, but it's not. I was kind of bummed. I really thought that it was going to be close to that, so that was kind of disappointing. But I'm still on the hunt. I'm still on the hunt to find a Viva Glam Cindy dupe. 
So here are the swatches. This one on top is Viva Glam Cindy, which you can disregard because that has nothing to do with the video, but I was just swatching them to see how close they were. You can see the amazing sheen on them. So this one here is Cupcake, and then we have Candy Apple, and over here is Red Velvet. So you can just see how much lighter and sheer it comes out. And if you just do one swipe, that's the same color, but I just built it up. Same with, um, here's Cupcake. Whoa. And then, here's Candy Apple. So that's the other thing I really love about them. They're easy to wear, they're easy to put on. I just love how they feel on your lips. Um, seriously, you really get like the best of so many worlds because it's like the only lip product that you need. I absolutely love the packaging of them between like the color case and the sheerness and just, it's just different than having like a pot where you're constantly having to stick your finger or a lip brush in. So for me, these get A++, highly recommend, go check them out. I don't think they're limited edition. They say new, they didn't say limited edition on the um, display. I really hope they're not because I could totally see this replacing like all my other um, lip moisturizers like because of these I'm even contemplating if I even want to get another tube of the fresh sugar I was gonna get like the rosier like the reddish tinted fresh sugar lip balm but I don't even I'm not even gonna get that now because this totally does the exact same thing so I hope you guys found this video helpful and that you'll check these out and if you do please come back and let me know your thoughts on them like I said I found them at Rite Aid but I'm sure eventually they'll be popping up all over at the super at the um other drug stores and I can't wait to see swatches on blogs of these online because I probably will want to pick up some more just to have. Like I said, they're just like the best of, I said that like three times now, but you really, you just get everything all in one little tube. And you guys know how much of a fan I am of the Color Burst lipsticks just by the lasting power, the color range, and um, like the sleek packaging. So I was not surprised at all how much I really fell in love with these. But I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions video, and I will see you soon. Bye.